Let's discuss follicles. So follicles are the structures that house your oocyte. So each so, so at birth, each oocyte is housed in a structure called a called a follicle. In this case, the follicle at birth. is called a primordial follicle. That's at birth. And these follicles will stay as, su as such until puberty, then they start to mature. So after puberty, so get through puberty, puberty is here, and get through puberty, or get to, get to puberty, then you start to mature the, the, the follicles. So again, the oocyte is still there and the follicle starts to change in structure. So now it becomes more, you know, the cells in the wall become more distinctive, they look more cuboidal in shape. Okay. At this point, it's called a primary follicle. Then the primary follicle will mature some more to the point now. So again, you still have the oocyte sitting there. It's just sitting there, arrested, arrested in, in uh, prophase one. And now the follicle is still, still doing this thing out here. So now you have more layers of cells. More layers of cells. And these cell layers around the oocyte, these are your granulosa cells. Eventually, these are the cells that will, will, make, will make estrogen, okay? So that is your, the, the secondary follicle, secondary follicle in its earliest stages. At some point, this kind of follicle gets even, even more mature. We have the oocyte here still. You have the follicle wall, but now the outer cells are more compressed, more compressed into what's called a theca folliculi, okay, around the edges there. So here is your theca folliculi around the edge while the inner cell inner ones still remain as cells so you still have your granul your granulosa cells still on, on the inside so here these are your granulosa cells and now you also start to see these little pockets of fluid appearing inside the follicle, called these antrums. Okay. So this is called, this, this is a late, a late secondary follicle. Okay. And going from here to here, so, so, so as the puberty begins, it may take a year to go from the primordial state to the late secondary state. So one year process done independently of your typical hormones, you know, FSH, LH, those are not involved in this process. This, this is done locally by local enzyme, local factors inside the ovary that will trigger the follicles to mature. But then, once you get to this stage, then the rest of it is done hormo hor hormonally, where the late secondary follicle, so this is late, late, late secondary follicle, will form a, a bigger, Follicle. Now you have again oocyte here, right? And now uh, the follicle is a bit bigger. Still have the beta folliculi out there. All right, it's, it's pressing on the edges there. It's 
So that's some, some, some G cell, granular cells till on the inside. But now you have a bigger space inside. So now you, before you had these smaller antrums, now they all merge to form one big antrum here. In there, also the oocyte secretes a little gel-like material to surround it. That membrane around the oocyte is called your zona pellucida. And then also the, the granulosa cells, they also coalesce to form a border around the ZP. So you have around here. That is called your corona radiata. At this point, when it's this big, about one millimeter in diameter, this is called your vesicular follicle. Also called your graphian follicle. Okay, this part happens monthly. Once you get to here, this is monthly, where several of these will be prodded by FSH to try to mature to become what's called the dominant or vesicular follicle. And that follicle is the one that will rupture, okay, rupture, do an ovulation, rupture to release the oocyte surrounded by the ZP. Surrounded by the radiata. That's ovulation, and then this follicle will collapse to form a follicle called the corpus luteum. So this follicle collapses okay, to form your corpus. Luteum, literally, it's a, a, a yellow body inside the ovary, corpus luteum, and eventually that luteum will die and form what's called the corpus albicans. So, again, we, we mark this event here is called ovulation. Of course, the oocyte all along was arrested in prophase one. All along, once its ovulate is now arrested in prophase in, in metaphase two. So now it's actually a secondary oocyte. Before it was a primary oocyte, primary oocyte along the entire time. Okay, and this process here from late secondary follicle to the point of becoming corpus albicans happens monthly. But this one happens over a year. So the follicle that ruptures actually began the process a year ago before you got to it in your monthly cycle. So that is follicle development. We'll pause.